Hello everyone, this is Pradeep from Tech and Training Corporate Solutions. In this video, I'm going to talk about Presenter View, which is an effective option available in PowerPoint to give presentation. What I've seen people that they create very nice presentation. They also write speaker notes below each and every slide. But while giving presentation, they follow the same old method of going to slideshow and selecting the option either from beginning or from current slideshow or they even press F5 to start the presentation. Now here the disadvantage of using or giving presentation by just simply pressing F5 is the speaker notes that you have written are no longer visible in this mode. Second problem is I have to go through each and every slide that I have created. I do not have any option to choose any slide randomly. Looking at these two challenges in mind, I have the solution. And like I said in the beginning, the solution is present view. So let me demonstrate how to use present view. This present view mode should be used when you are connected to a secondary display. Your current display is the primary display, which is your monitor screen or your laptop screen. The secondary display could be your LCD TV or could be a projector. If you're connected to a secondary display, then in order to use present view, you have to switch your Windows mode to an extended mode. And that can be done by simply pressing Windows P multiple times. This Windows P feature is only available in Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. Please check the steps for Windows XP because steps to get Windows into an extended mode in Windows XP are different. You can just Google it. You can see the current setting or current mode which is selected is PC screen only. And in order to use present view, I have to press Windows P and get the option extended selected. After I select Windows P multiple times and extend mode, now I simply have to go to slideshow tab and check the box that says use present view. After checking that, now it's very simple. I just need to press F5. This gets me into present view mode. Now people, you need not worry that whether the screen is visible to your audience or not. Your audience can only see this much section which is currently being highlighted in the video. But you get the additional controls. You can read the speaker notes, which is right on the right hand side of your screen. You can also choose the slide which are visible at the bottom. Let's say you don't want to go in sequential manner. You directly want to jump over to fourth slide and then come to second slide and continue the presentation. You are free to choose the slides that you want to show to your audience. So this present view gives you additional control over to your presentation and helps you to give effective presentation. Hope you have liked this video. If you have liked it, please subscribe to the channel and leave your comment. That will encourage me to create more such videos. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.